Welcome back to Singapore Tonight. Growing antimicrobial resistance has become a major concern for medical professionals globally. But a recent discovery by researchers from the Singapore MIT Alliance for Research and Technology could potentially improve treatments such as phage therapy, which uses viruses to treat bacterial infections. And for more, we're joined by Professor Peter Deedon from the Singapore MIT Alliance for Research and Technology. Professor Deedon, thanks for joining us this evening. So first up, help us understand what role does this defense mechanism play in the bacteria? So, so in the bacteria, this is, this is the same thing as a human immune system. So what we discovered was that the bacteria decorate their DNA in a way that when the virus inserts its DNA and tries to take over the bacterial cell, uh, the bacteria chops it up into pieces. This is no different than when coronavirus uh, infects a human and the white blood cells uh, mount a defense and kill the virus. So the bacteria have their own simple immune systems. So how crucial then is this newly identified defense mechanism, if you like, in determining whether phage therapy or antibiotics will work? Well, so, so the, the importance of this, and it sounds like just a weird esoteric academic discovery, uh, the importance of this is what we do in the SMART program. And, and you can view SMART as sort of MIT's research enterprise in Singapore to take basic science discoveries and turn them into drugs, therapeutics, diagnostic tools, all that kind of thing. So what we've discovered here, uh, we can take these decorations on the bacterial DNA and turn them against the bacteria. We can actually engineer the phages to, prepare, to put these decorations on their DNA so that when they do invade a, a, a bacterial infection, the bacteria in a very pathogenic infection, uh, the, the invading virus won't get chopped up by the host defense mechanism and it'll survive and it'll kill the bacteria. Uh, so, so this is an important advance that we could engineer into the phage. Uh, instead of using the phage cocktails that have been around for 100 years, this makes phages predictable reproducible, very effective, and manufacturable. That's an important part of phage therapy, is the ability to make drugs that if you take a bottle off the shelf 10 years down the line, it's going to be just as good as the first bottle that comes out in treating drug-resistant infections. So what are some of the challenges associated with phage therapy currently then? So right now, you can, you can go uh, in Eastern Europe and many places in the world and buy cocktails of naturally occurring phages. They're isolated from all kinds of disgusting places. Uh, and you make a cocktail of them to treat colds and uh, fevers and all kinds of inf infections. The problem with that is that these things are unpredictable. If we go get another batch from the same disgusting material, it'll be different. What we need for modern drugs is to make them manufacturable, reproducible, and safe and effective so that if, if I treat three different people with three different bottles of the phage, they're gonna have exactly the same effect. Current phage therapies just can't do that. So we need to engineer them to be able to make them safe and effective and reproducible and manufacturable. And how important is this discovery then in encountering the, the problem of antibiotic resistance? So there's a lot of uh, bacteria that cause infections that have these decorations on their DNA. And thus, if you go in with a phage that doesn't have this immune shield on its DNA, uh, it won't work. So uh, there's a lot of important infections in the lung caused by a mycobacterium abscessus. Half of those strains have this decoration on their DNA. So if you're gonna make a phage cocktail, a phage therapy for this particular kind of infection, you should make sure it has this immune shield on its DNA. And so then we can engineer these phages and that'll increase the odds that the drug will be uh, effective in these really difficult to treat uh, uh, infections. Okay, well, thank you very much for your time explaining that to us. Professor Peter Deedon from the Singapore MIT Alliance for Research and Technology.